Well, folks, we have a piece of breaking news for you here. It's a big piece of breaking news for us because we were involved in getting this done. See, here at Daily Wire, we don't just talk about things. We actually go and we do things. I testified before Congress just a few weeks ago about the Global Alliance for Responsible Media, which was a effectively a censorship syndicate designed to shut down all advertising dollars to anyone on the right side of the aisle. Essentially a third party delegated company that all these advertising agencies would go to. They would create a false standard for what was acceptable or non-acceptable material. And then they would tell advertisers that they simply should not and could not put their money with untrustworthy sources. All those untrustworthy sources were always on the right, of course. So Garm was targeting the Daily Wire, Garm was targeting Fox News, Garm was targeting Breitbart, and Garm was targeting Elon Musk's ex. Well, now, thanks to public pressure and thanks to the support of people like you, honestly, because we can't do what we do without your membership over at Daily Wire Plus, it now turns out the advertising group, the World Federation of Advertisers, has told its members it is discontinuing activities for Garm completely. Stephen Lurkey, the CEO of the WFA, wrote in an email to members seen by Business Insider, the decision was, quote, not made lightly, but that GARM is a not-for-profit organization with limited resources. Lurkey said the WFA and GARM intend to contest the allegations in a suit that is now being filed by Elon Musk's ex, and they were confident the outcome would demonstrate their full adherence to competition rules in their activities. But the reason they are discontinuing is they don't like the public pressure. They do not like the sunlight. And that's what we do here at Daily Wire. We expose what is going on to sunlight. And it makes a huge difference because if advertising dollars are allowed to flow freely, then there will be more good right-wing journalism. There will be more opinions that aren't just homogeneously left-wing. That's why we need your membership. We need your help. Daily Wire Plus members have unlimited on-demand access to our uncensored ad-free daily shows, real-time breaking news, investigative journalism. Don't be left in the dark. Join the fight right now at dailywire.com slash subscribe so we can do fights like this. Garm collapsing is a big story and it is a big move. It demonstrates that public pressure brought to bear against the left bears actual fruit. It's something that, again, we are dedicated to doing. It's why Representative Jim Jordan and his entire committee over there, they did an excellent job exposing the predations of Garm and all of the advertising agencies that were working with Garm and using it effectively as an excuse to censor ad dollars on the right side of the aisle. According to Business Insider, advertising insiders expressed concerns to Business Insider earlier this week that while they thought the claims made by X were baseless, the action would nonetheless sap Garm of resources that would hinder its work. Well, it should hinder its work, obviously. A bunch of outlets, including X and Rumble, are now suing Garm. Garm no longer is going to be an operative organization, apparently. The left can only operate this sort of behind closed door censorship regime when people don't expose it. We're dedicated to doing that. It was affecting us, but it was affecting you. Because honestly, if we can't do our business, then our business doesn't exist. And the same thing is true of Elon Musk's ex or Fox News or Breitbart or anybody else who happens to be on the right side of the aisle. Big win for the right today as the WFA kills Garm dead.